Hello everyone, welcome to another tutorial of PLC programming using Code Assist. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can simulate seven segments in the Code Assist environment. You can see here that I have a visualization which has three seven segments. Over here we have a field in which we can enter the number that we want to be displayed on the seven segments. If I click there, I'm able to provide some number like 568. So three digits will be entered. And once I press the enter, you see that the number is shown. I also have this plus and minus buttons for each seven segment with which we can increase the number by one, as you see here, or decrease it by one, decrease it by 10 or increase it by 10. And finally, in the first digit position, we can add 100 or subtract 100 from it. What I have here is for the positive numbers starting from 0 up to 999 because I'm going to use three digits. I will explain you indeed how you can construct any of these seven segment elements. Let me just open it. So you can see here that I have a seven segment element and then I have replicated those seven segment elements here in the main visualization. And the code beyond the scene here will be also explained. So here I have a piece of code which determines which segment of the seven segment needs to be turned on or off depending on the decimal number which is provided. And also in the main program here, you can see that we, we have the main decimal input and out of that we are extracting the first digit, second digit and third digit. And then they are being fed into the seven segment function block that we have here. Okay, so please follow all the steps. I'm going to start from scratch and build everything from scratch and at the end, you will see the same uh, behavior that we have here. So please follow all these steps in order to do it on your own as well. Okay, so now let's get started. I'm going to create a new project. All right, so I have created an empty project with CFC as the programming language, and I already have added two visualizations. One of them is called the seven segment. I just changed change the name. And the other one is the visualization, which is the main uh, visualization window that we are going to use. So first let's construct a single instance of the seven segment. To start working on the seven segment to make a similar one to the one that I just showed you, we can start by using a rounded rectangle, just dragging and dropping it here. You can change the color for the normal color. We can fill it with some other color rather than white. We can use the gray color maybe or, or the light gray. And then we need to work on the segments. To create the segments in the visualization toolbox, you can see that we have the polygon. You can refer to another video tutorial that I have created for working with the polygons by clicking on the polygon and then clicking in the visualization window inside the rounded rectangle element that we have we can start to construct the segments for the seven segment okay so here we go the polygon is selected I start by clicking here then here here and here to construct the first one. But then I do a right click in order to complete this. Then I click polygon again. For the next segment, we need to click here, 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 and the light right click. I just made small changes to the polygon elements that we have here. Now I'm going to copy this and paste it because we need more of this. I'm placing one here. Then we need another one on the other side, but we need to rotate it. so. To, to make it oriented properly. I'm rotating and placing it here. And another instance by copying and pasting could be obtained here. Uh, this one, we also need another similar segment. So I'm copying and then pasting and then rotating the, the What is missing now is the middle segment. For that, we are going again to use the polygon element. I will draw a polygon in a similar way that I did for the other segments by selecting the polygon and clicking in the screen. All right, so after clicking on the polygon, I'm going to click here, then here, then here, 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 and here. All right, now that we have the seven segment created in the visualization, we need to have a corresponding function block because we are going to use multiple instances of this seven segment. For that, we need to create a function block by right clicking on clicking on application adding object and selecting POU or program organization unit let's call it sevsec for short and it will be in the form of a function block as the programming language I'm going to use the CFC but again you can use any 
that you want. Now I have added the seven segment in the function block to our project. We need to develop the piece of code which controls which segment should be turned on or which segment should be turned off based on the decimal digit that it receives. Here as the input for the function block we need to provide one decimal input. It will be an integer input in the form of a single digit. And then as the output from the seven segment function block we would need to have seven boolean outputs whether zero or one. In the input variable we can declare the input value as already mentioned it will be in the form of an integer value and as the output variable we can have the seven indeed values in the boolean form for the input value we can assign the default value of zero let's also create another input in the form of enable seven segment which will be boolean and by default we can set it to false assuming that by default the, the seven segment is not enabled also it's a good idea to provide some comment here in the variable segment, we can declare now the segments. Segment A is Boolean, then segment B, Boolean, segment C is Boolean, and we go till the end. Okay, so now we have all the segments of the seven segment declared here. We need to determine their state, whether they are they should be true or false based on the input value that we receive for the seven segment. So we need to have an input this will be associated with the in value and now we need to process that and determine the value for all the outputs all right so you can see here that we have the in value and the outputs for the segment a b c and so on and so forth to be determined okay so you can see here that i have the input value and the outputs need to be determined something to notice here that initially we received the value in the integer form and if you want to determine the each segment to be on or off one way is to convert this into the binary form so to do that we can bring a box here look for the so we can indeed convert into the byte form convert to byte it will give us the binary form we connect the input of two byte to the in value i'm going to create an intermediate variable here in value in the binary form and as the type i will choose the byte so now we have the input value in the binary form. For example, if we have five in the binary form, it will give us zero, one, zero, one. Now that we have it in, in the binary form, we just need to determine which segment should be on depending on which bit of the binary value here is, to, is on or off. For that, you can easily find lots of material on the internet. I'm going to implement one of them here, but you can choose any. All right, so to save the time, I just implemented the conversion in it here. You can see that we have the four bits, bit number 0, 1, 2, and 3 for the binary number, for the equivalent binary number. And we have the, the values assigned to the different segments, segment A to G. Now we have the function block created. We can close it. What we need to do in the next step is to come here in the seven segment visualization. And in the var in out, we need to declare the, the function. We need to call the function block that we had. All right, so I'm going to declare a function called seven seg instance of type seven segment that we just created. Yeah, this seven seg is the function that we, function block that we created. And here in the var in out area of the seven segment visualization, we need to have this in order to be able to to use different instances of this seven segment uh, in the main visualization. In the main visualization, we now that we have created the seven segment, you can see that here we have a new tab, which is called the, se the current project. And you can see that it we have the seven segment created here. So what we need to do is just drag and drop it here. You can see that the, we, we need to associate it with a parameter for now we don't have it so i'm just going to leave it like this and then i will insert two more in the next step i will show you how we can associate each one of these with the corresponding variable okay so going back to the main plc program that we have here our aim here is to receive a number in the visualization and then display it on the three seven segments in the main program what we can do here is is to uh, convert that three 
digit number into three separate digits and then use each digit to be shown on a single one segment display. Since we have three digits here, we need to insert three empty boxes and then as for the function block for them, we will select the seven segment and we need to give a name to this instance. You can see that we have the enable input and the input value. They receive the main input from the user. This will be provided by the user through the visualization. Let's call it in value in the form of an integer, the default value of zero. Okay, so we know that this has three digits and we need to extract the digit one, two and three out of that. As for digit one, if we find the mode of this value with 10, what we will get will be the last digit. For that, we need to use mode operator. The first input will be connected to the in value and for the second one, we will use the constant value of 10 and this will determine the value for the first digit. For the second digit, we can use a mode operator with 100 as the input. First input will be connected again to the in value. Then the output needs to be divided by 10. And as for the third one, we can use the mode operator with 1000 as the input and then divide the result by 100. And this will determine our uh, input value for the third digit. For the enable seven segment, we can create a Boolean variable, enable seven segments in the form of Boolean with the initial value of false. And then we can use a switch in the visualization in order to turn them on or off. Let's bring an input use it for the enable seven segments and connect the enable input of all these three function block instances to the same input. Let's switch to the visualization. In visualization, we can select the rightmost one first and in the references for the segment instance that you can see here, we can just double click and select the segment digit one. For the one in the middle, we can use the seven segment digit two and for the last one, select the seven segment digit three. Let's place a deep switch here to enable them, enable the seven segments using it we can also place a label we need one more element in order to get the decimal value from the user we bring a text field here you can click on the input configuration Let's unmask it. we can select right variable and add it here for the input type we can keep the default for the text variable we can now choose the in value last part for the visualization is the, the buttons that we have at the lower and upper parts of each seven segment. We can use the button. Here I'm using the minus sign. I'm going to copy and paste it. We need to determine what happens when a user clicks on any of these buttons. So again, we you should be able to, to see the input configuration and unmask it. We can say that we want to execute ST code. For the ST code, we need to determine what we want to do. So with the first one here, we need to subtract one from the in value variable. The in value variable is in the PSC underline PRG in value should be replaced with the same value, the same variable minus one. For the second one, on the mouse click, we need to subtract 10. And for the third one, we will subtract 100. Similarly, for the upper ones, we will add 1, 10, or 100. So I will do it, and then I will show you the result. So we know that there are multiple segments, seven segments in it here. But we haven't determined what happens to, to the color of them. We have the segments here. Uh, this needs to be associated with the proper variable from the same function block in order to change the color. So as for the color variable, we need to associate this toggle color with the variable. The first one will be segment A. And then here we need to check the colors. We have it for the normal state and for the alarm state. For the normal one, we can just keep the default and for the alarm one, we will have the, the, the field color. You can change this 
to red and this one to yellow. We need to do it for all the other segments. Another thing to keep in mind is that in the target visualization, you need to have the visualization written here. So now let's try to see what happens if we log in and download the code. Let's change the number to 125. You see that we have 125. So here we have 225. You can see the number here as well. The value 300, 400. So with each of these, you can add or subtract 1, 10 or 100 your number. So those are also working. All right. So you, here, for example, you, you can say that 658 is shown. I can make it 660. Uh, something that we just didn't work on was the enable seven segment. You can see that whatever value we provide here doesn't affect because we didn't use it indeed in our code. I just wanted to show you how you can indeed simulate such a system here in the form of a tutorial in order to give you some experience in terms of the coding, how you can create a piece of visualization indeed an element and then use it multiple times in your project whenever needed keep in mind that you need to declare uh, the function block that you created here in the form of seven segment in the visualization for the seven segment as well okay so i think that's all for this video thank you for watching please let me know if you have any comments any questions or any suggestions for the further videos thanks for watching and see you in the next video later. Bye for now.